Hello, so in this video let's export our plants to DVG and DVF formats. So let's go back to our project and first thing before we start exporting is to uh, check numbers of our drawings. Uh, if we remember other videos, I created some foundation plan views and I used drawing number 02 for foundation plans. So it means I need to uh, use uh, other numbers so because number 02 is not free for my numbering system and I use 03 for building structure drawings and 04 for other. Building architecture drawings, it's okay, I have uh, empty numbers for 0, 01 and 0, 02. Okay, so let's first begin from exporting DVG files. Let's create now plans, set plan. Okay. And I will choose sheets in model and I will choose I want in my set all these four sheets. Next part I will create my setup for my uh, exporting purpose. So I will use ISO standard for layers naming. So it will automatically change categories, uh, model categories of Revit to AutoCAD layers according to ISO 13567. Mm, uh, also, I should pay attention to the line changes, pattern changes, text and font changes, colors in colors, let's say index by color index solids. I will use this one solids. In here, I should choose shared coordinates so all my uh, project documentation can have the same coordination system and I can I link, insert different project views to different programs and they appear in the same location. And in here, preserve consistent lines. Uh, consistent lines, if lines are uh, on the top of each other, program will not delete these lines and if I turn some layers I can see all objects. It's important because uh, you can change and just turn on layers you want. So for format I am using latest tools so I can leave the latest format if you are using earlier CAD versions so you can choose other formats. Let's press OK. Let's press next. And for saving, I recommend just use uh, automatic short version. And remember, leave this as separate. And from here, you can see uh, it creates a sheet drawing and reference drawings. So these are views and this is sheet. And all the views are linked to the sheet. So all views I can uh, link back to my uh, Revit or AutoCAD models and they should have the same coordinate system like I am using in my model. Next, let's export our project to DVF format. I will use the same setup. For the properties in print settings, I will use center. Uh, I use sheet size automatically. And I save us as RevDVS exporter. I press OK, colors, OK. And project information, I should fill it here. And press next. And leave this combined if it's possible, so it will automatically combine all the sheets in my project. OK, so let's check the results. So from here you can see program automatically created uh, sheets with views and also one DVF file with all the views inside it. So in DVF file 
uh, program should automatically catch up the size of my sheet and it should automatically print it in the nice shape. And of course you can select objects in these DVA files and you can check materials, other properties. I can pin it here. I see the, I see the area. I see the wall type marking. I see sheet properties and other stuff. And if I select column, I get the same result. Of course, I can put marks if I see some mistakes. Let's say these are too large and maybe it can be changed uh, to other size. And I can leave some comments here. And this can and these comments can be reimported to to Revit, and I can work later in Revit with this.